Hello everyone. Welcome to Mental House YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about upper extremity muscles. Before talk about the muscles, we have to know the movements of the upper extremity. So here this anterior view you can see this movement is called lateral rotation. This movement is called medial rotation. Here this movement is adduction and here this is abduction. In this lateral view you can see this is the normal position of the hand and this position is flexion and this position is extension and here from the elbow joint this is flexion and this is extension in this anterior view you can see supination and pronation supination is where the palm faces upward pronation is where the palm face downward here you can see the digital flexion and here this is the digital extension. Also this one is lateral abduction and here medial abduction. So let's talk about the parts of the upper extremity. You remember that we divided upper extremity into four parts. This region is called shoulder girdle. This region is arm, this region is forearm, and this region is hand. Now we are going to talk about muscles of the shoulder girdle. The first muscle is deltoid muscles. In this picture you can see the deltoid muscles. We can subdivide deltoid muscle into three groups. One is anterior fibers which is called anterior deltoid. Second one is lateral fibers which is called lateral deltoid. Third one is posterior fibers which is called posterior deltoid. Then we have supraspinatus muscles. Here you can see the supraspinatus muscle. Then infraspinatus muscles. Here you can see the infraspinatus muscle. Teres minor muscles. Here you can see the teres minor muscle. Teres major muscles. Here you can see the teres major muscles. And finally subscapularis muscle. Here you can see the subscapularis muscle. We have to know the action and innovation of muscles. So here you can see the deltoid muscle. The action is flexion, extension and abduction of shoulder. Innovated by axillary nerve. Second muscle is supraspinatus muscle. Action is abduction of shoulder. Innovated by suprascapular nerve. Third muscle is infraspinatus muscle. Action is supination of shoulder. Innovated by suprascapular nerve. Fourth muscle is teres minor muscle. Action is supination of shoulder. Innervated by axillary nerve. Fifth muscle is teres major muscle. Action is pronation, adduction of shoulder. Innervated by subscapular nerve. The last muscle is subscapularis muscle. Action is pronation, adduction of shoulder. Innervated by subscapular nerve. Now we are going to talk about the muscles of the arm. Muscles of the arm we can subdivide into anterior brachial compartment and posterior brachial compartment. Muscles of the anterior brachial compartment are biceps branch muscle. In this picture you can see here biceps branch muscle. Then coracobrachialis muscles. Here you can see the coracobrachialis muscle. Then brachialis muscles. Here you can see the brachialis muscle. The muscles of the posterior brachial compartment are triceps branch muscles. In this picture, you can see here triceps branch muscle and anconius muscle. Here, you can see the anconius muscle. Let's talk about action and innovation of those muscles. First, biceps branch muscle. Action is flexion of shoulder and elbow, innervated by muscular cutaneous nerve. Then, coracobrachialis muscle. Action is flexion of shoulder, innervated by muscular cutaneous nerve. Then brachialis muscle. Action is flexion of elbow, innervated by muscular cutaneous nerve. Then triceps branch muscle. Action is extension of shoulder and elbow, innervated by radial nerve. Finally, anconius muscle. Action is extension of elbow, and innervated by radial nerve. Now we are going to talk about the muscles of the forearm. 
muscles of the forearm we can subdivide into anterior group muscles lateral group muscles and posterior group muscles here you can see anterior group muscles are localized in four layers so the muscles of the first layer are pronator teres muscle flexor carpi radialis muscle palmaris longus muscle and flexor carpi ulnaris muscle muscle of the second layer is flexor digitorum superficialis muscle muscles of the third layer are flexor digitorum profundus muscle and flexor pollicis longus muscle so finally the muscle of the fourth layer is pronator quadratus muscle So let's have a look at those muscles. In this picture you can see the muscles of the first layer which is pronator teres muscle, flexor carpi radialis muscle, palmaris longus muscle and flexor carpi ulnaris muscle. In this picture you can see the muscles of the second layer which is flexor digitorum superficialis muscle. In this picture you can see the muscles of third and fourth layers which are flexor digitorum profundus muscle, flexor pollicis longus muscle and pronator quadratus muscle. So let's talk about the action and innovation of those muscles. First, pronator teres muscle. Action is pronation and flexion of elbow innervated by median nerve. Then flexor carpi radialis muscle. Action is flexion and radial abduction of wrist innervated by median nerve. Then palmaris longus muscle, action is flexion of wrist, innervated by median nerve. Then flexor carpi ulnaris muscle, action is flexion and ulna abduction of wrist, innervated by ulna nerve. Then flexor digitorum superficialis muscle, action is flexion of fingers and wrist, innervated by median nerve. Then flexor digitorum profundus muscle, action is flexion of fingers and wrist, innervated by median and ulna nerve. Then flexor pollicis longus muscle, action is flexion of thumb and wrist, innervated by median nerve. So finally, pronator quadratus muscle, action is pronation of distal radio ulna joint and innervated by median nerve. I'm going to talk about lateral and posterior group muscles. Lateral group muscles are brachioradialis muscle, extensor carpi radialis longus muscle and extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle. Muscles of posterior group again can subdivide into two layers. One is superficial layer and another one is deep layer. Muscles of superficial layer are extensor carpi ulnaris muscle, extensor digitorum muscle and extensor digiti minimi muscle. Muscles of deep layer are supinator muscle, abductor pollicis longus muscle, extensor pollicis brevis muscle, extensor pollicis longus muscle and extensor indices muscle. So let's have a look of those muscles. Here you can see the brachioradialis muscle. Here you can see the extensor carpi radialis longus muscle. Here you can see the extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle. Here you can see the extensor carpi ulnaris muscle. Here you can see the extensor digitorum muscle. And here you can see the extensor digiti minimi muscle. In this picture, you can see the supinator muscle, abductor pollicis longus muscle, extensor pollicis brevis muscle, extensor pollicis longus muscle, and extensor indices muscle. Here we can see the action and innovation of those muscles. Brachioradialis muscle, action is flexion of elbow innervated by radial nerve. Extensor carp radialis longus muscle, action is extension and radial abduction of wrist, innervated by radial nerve. Extensor carp radialis brevis muscle, action is extension and radial abduction of wrist, innervated by radial nerve. Extensor carp ulnaris muscle, action is extension and ulna abduction of wrist, innervated by radial nerve. Extensor digitorum muscle, Action is extension of fingers and wrist, innervated by radial nerve. Extensor digiti minimi muscle. Action is extension little finger and wrist, innervated by radial nerve. Supinator muscle. Action is supination of elbow, innervated by radial nerve. Abductor pollicis longus muscle. Action is abduction of thumb and wrist, innervated by radial nerve. 
extensive policy is brave is muscle action is extension of thumb and wrist innovated by radial nerve extensive policy is strong goes muscle action is extension of thumb and wrist innovated by radial nerve finally extensive indices is muscle action is extension of index finger and wrist innovated by radial nerve now we are going to talk about the muscles of the hand muscles of the hand we can subdivide into two groups one is muscles of the palmar surface and other one is muscles of the dorsal surface again muscles of the palmar surface we can subdivide like muscles of the tenae minimus muscles of the hypotenae minimus and muscles of the middle group so muscles of the tenae minimus are abductor pollicis brevis muscle flexor pollicis brevis muscle opponens pollicis muscle and adductor pollicis muscle muscles of the hypotenae minimus are palmaris brevis muscle abductor digiti minimi muscle flexor digiti minimi brevis muscle and opponens digiti minimi muscle and muscles of the middle group are lumbrical muscles and palma interosseous muscles let's have a look on those muscles here you can see the abductor pollicis brevis muscle this is flexor pollicis brevis muscle this is opponens pollicis muscle and here adductor pollicis muscle in this side you can see the palmaris brevis muscle which is cut in this picture this is abductor digiti minimi muscle this one flexor digiti minimi brevis muscle this one opponens digiti minimi muscle and those are lumbrical muscles and here you can see the interosseous muscles now let's talk about the action and innovation of those muscles abductor pollicis brevis muscle action is abduction of thumb innervated by median and ulnar nerve flexor pollicis brevis muscle action is flexion of thumb innervated by median and ulnar nerve opponens pollicis muscle action is opposition of thumb innervated by median nerve adductor pollicis muscle action is adduction of thumb innervated by median nerve palmaris brevis muscle action is formation of skin folds innervated by ulnar nerve abductor digiti minimi muscle action is abduction of little finger innervated by ulnar nerve flexor digiti minimi brevis muscle action is flexion of little finger innervated by ulnar nerve opponens digiti minimi muscle action is opposition of little finger innervated by ulnar nerve lumbrical muscles action is flexion of proximal phalanges and extension of middle and distal phalanges of second to fifth fingers innervated by median and ulnar nerve palma interosseous muscles action is flexion of proximal phalanges and extension of middle and distal phalanges of second to fifth fingers innervated by ulnar nerve now we are going to talk about the muscles of the dorsal surface muscle of the dorsal surface is dorsal interosseous muscle action is flexion of proximal phalanges and extension of middle and distal phalanges of second to fifth fingers innervated by ulnar nerve in this picture here you can see the dorsal interosseous muscles thank you for your attention If you have any questions regarding today's lesson please comment down below and if you learn something from this video please be kind enough to like this video and hit the subscribe button have a nice day